To uh, compete in the ITA regionals, uh, a lot of the big schools there, uh, amazing competition. So always fun to play against, uh, watch some of the big uh, big school players play. Um, just uh, It's a good experience. And uh, like Colin said, Regan Lynch and Gisela Kemper, two of our players that qualified, um, they played doubles, unfortunately, uh, in singles as well. Got uh, tough first-round opponents. Uh, they ran into a uh, Arkansas first-round in doubles, and unfortunately, uh, single elimination you lose and you're out and um, you now we competed hard you know made some mistakes but against a team like Arkansas where they don't um, they don't give you much you just you have to be on um, but uh, hopefully they learn from it realize they got to be more aggressive in doubles that's with our um, with all of our players on our team just we got to be more aggressive in doubles we just can't stay back at the at the baseline or uh, just standing up in that not making plays and um, uh, especially against that uh, Arkansas team, I think we learned that we got to be aggressive. Uh, otherwise, they're gonna they're gonna uh, walk all over us. And so uh, that was doubles. And then moving on to singles again, both got tough first rounds. Uh, starting out with Regan, she played a Minnesota girl first round. First set uh, didn't start out too well, but played very well in the second set. It was actually up up a break in the second set, and uh, unfortunately, um, kind of. Um, lost a few points here and there. Minnesota girl came back and uh, was able to defeat her. But uh, hopefully, what she took away was it that you know she didn't play her best and she was right there in that match with that Minnesota girl, which is uh, to me saying something. And then um, her next match, she got to go in the consolations and just played a Southeast Missouri State girl, just very tall girl, aggressive player. Uh, had to play outside and a lot of wind, not using that as an excuse, but that uh, her opponent did very well with that. Took uh, took shots early inside the baseline and attacked. And uh, unfortunately, Regan, who likes to just play a lot from the baseline, it was, it was, it was tough for her to compete against that. So unfortunately, um, took the loss there. But um, with Gisela, again, starting out with a tough match, Oklahoma State girl, which um, she ended up losing to her. Oklahoma State girl, I think, made it all the way. I haven't checked how she finished, but was in the semis of the main draw. So very a tough opponent. Um, uh, scores didn't uh, didn't look good, but you know competed the best she could. But very proud of Gisela, won three matches after that. So to me, winning three matches in the ITA uh, regional is, is very impressive. Uh, got. Um, Come, come from behind wins on, on two of the matches. You know, one of the matches against the St. Louis girl, she was down 5-0 in the first set and clawed back, went up 7-5, and then actually 3-0 in the second set. So for her to rattle off 10 straight games and then eventually beating her, uh, very proud of her for that. Could have um, ended up losing that set, losing that match, but uh, clawed back and got the win and then eventually lost to a, a tough player from, the, uh, from Missouri. So... Uh, very good tournament for her, uh, wrapped up, um, you know, ending up what was kind of a disappointing conference for us, uh, individual conference, so ended it out um, on a better note and uh, got to, got a lot to work on in the off season before we uh, start up again in, uh, in January. Any questions? Thank you.